welcome to another tall talk video so in this video i'm going to talk about how to be confident as a tall woman in a society where being a tall woman is kind of looked down on or at least thought of as unnatural maybe so i know from my experience at least being tall has come with its trials and tribulations okay now with that being said things have changed a whole lot since my like high school years and i'm gonna tell y'all this right now i have been six three since probably freshman year in high school okay i have been this tall since freshman year of high school just towering over all of my peers all of my classmates all of my teachers pretty much everyone all right so i have experienced a lot from many many years ago not trying to tell you my age but many many years ago and i have noticed that things have gotten much better for us tall women in 2019 versus what it was like back then so i'm going to go ahead and start this video with letting you guys know that there is not no magical pill you can swallow that'll just make you love your height okay it doesn't just happen overnight there is no abracadabra to it at all it takes time it takes energy it takes mental strength it takes willpower so i'm making this video to directly speak to other tall women okay or just tall youth because i get comments i get messages from you all that are like i'm 13 and i'm struggling and and i'm like taller than everyone in my school even the boys and it's uncomfortable etc etc so i'm here to talk to you guys so let's go ahead and get started and what i want to start with is a quote because i really feel like this specific quote explains perfectly how i kind of overcame my time being uncomfortable as a tall woman okay so the quote is from miss maya angelo the queen herself if you don't like something change it if you can't change it change your attitude if you don't like the way your nose looks you can go straight over to the plastic surgeon and get that mess fixed right if your hair you don't like blonde hair you can go over and go get it dyed easy you can change these things but being tall is not something you can just change you can't hide it you can't get rid of it even if you slouch ladies you still look tall okay you just look like a tall hunchback now so it is better to just stand up straight and tall and look confident rather than slouching looking like you are so uncomfortable in your skin so being tall is not something you can just change so what you need to do is change your attitude about it so the process of me changing my attitude about it was having or being surrounded by people who were positive being surrounded by people who were uplifting now one thing that I found out is that if you are around people who are always joking or teasing or saying something about your height even if you do laugh about it or even if you are like ha 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 it's no big deal over time like hearing these jokes over and over and over again will slowly bring you down even if you don't show it okay i know that that's something that started to bother me even though like all through high school i didn't care like people would have all kinds of little nicknames for me some of them could have been considered mean but i don't know if i was just naive or oblivious to it to me i just joked and laughed about it but then as i became an adult i was tired of hearing different jokes i was tired of people being so surprised by the fact that i could reach things on the top shelf something that is so second nature to me that I don't even think twice about when I reach high things it's not something where I'm just like oh my god you know I can reach this top high thing look at me so tall and able to do these things to me it's completely second nature I don't think twice about it because I do it every day but for me at least whenever I like reach up to do something on the top shelf or do something that is very I guess difficult for the average person if I do these things and my friends or the people that are around me are always making a big deal out of it it does tend to bother me like don't make big deals out of things that are just normal to me every single time I do it but the thing is is that it wouldn't just be like 
wow you're so tall and able to reach these high things like no it's not like this really nice like complimenty type thing it's like dang girl you reached that so easily dang <laughs> i would have needed a step stool <laughs> like that type of reaction does not is it first off it's just unnecessary so when i say to surround yourself by people who are just positive about your height that's what i'm speaking on uplifting you for how tall you are what i do like to be surrounded by are people who are like girl you just tall and beautiful you better work like when you walk into the room you 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 demand attention like that's that's hot that's sexy that's that's fierce you know like these type of uplifting positive words in my opinion is more beneficial to helping you accept your height and helping you to appreciate how tall you are um that's how that i'm just telling you from my personal stories okay the other thing i want to mention is just self-talk now if you're not going to uplift yourself don't expect other people to do it for you so i said to surround yourself with people who will uplift you and like make your height a positive thing and not such a big deal however if you don't uplift yourself then it's not gonna work okay it's just not gonna you have to believe what your friends are saying you have to believe in yourself you know what I mean so this is the part that I feel like is the most difficult thing because you can hear the praise all day long but if you don't accept it if you don't truly believe it for yourself it ain't gonna do nothing boo-boo so this did not happen for me overnight but one thing that I realized was that when you are tall people don't look at it as a negative thing and that's something that i had to like rewire in my mind and yes there are some people who are just like you so tall uh, uh, why are you such a tall woman <laughs> okay like i said don't surround yourself with those people because that's just not gonna help you out so for me over time having such a good support system not only that but hearing people who didn't even know me say things like wow your height is so beautiful you know you just radiate in in your skin like i just got so much positive reinforcement i suppose for my height to where i just over time told myself look Tanya you can't you can't change your height okay all these people are telling you how beautiful you are and how you know you just look so good as a tall woman and you carry it so well when are you going to believe that when are you going to actually let yourself believe that your height is not a problem it's not a negative thing and it took time it took energy and still to this day i have moments where i'm like mm, i just wish i was like 5'10 if only i was like 5 10 you know i still have these moments i'm not gonna lie to you but overall i just learned that this is not a negative thing make it a positive thing in your mind and you will blossom like trust me the way that you show yourself to the world is how they will perceive you so if you are shoulders back confident in your skin can't nobody say anything to take that away from you so that's kind of the mentality that I had to replay and replay and replay in my mind was that showing people that I'm confident on the outside, even if I was just a little bit insecure on the inside, but if I just kept showing people how confident I was on the outside, that eventually people would just like only see that. Like this girl is tall, but dang she working it. You know what I mean? So with all of this being said, I want you to realize that it is a process. It's going to take time. It's going to take steps. It's going to be, there, there's going to be these different phases where even you will take a few steps back. Cause I have done that before where like suddenly I'm so self-conscious about myself. Uh, I, I can't even like begin to say like how sometimes I don't leave my apartment for something that I need because I just don't feel like getting all the stares. I just don't feel like getting all this attention. And it's just inevitable. Like for as a tall woman, anywhere we set our foot, somebody is going to stare at us and it can get exhausting and it can get just so uncomfortable so i totally understand like what you women who have been commenting on my videos are talking about but ultimately it all comes down to you you accepting you for who you are it's gonna sound real cliche people say it all the time but 
life is short y'all y'all need to go out there and experience that mess because it is short it is not promised to you and i don't feel like living life just hiding and like being afraid to be stared at or talked about or whatever is the way to live so what I want you guys to understand is the way that I have become more comfortable in my skin and a little bit more confident is just realizing that my height was not a negative thing with that being said you don't have to go through this adjustment period alone because another thing that I do that kind of helped me to realize that one I'm not the only tall person in this world because sometimes I can feel like I am when you go days and weeks and months and you don't ever see another woman as tall as you you start to wonder right well on a good old Instagram I follow a few beautiful tall women who really inspire me like <sighs> <laughs> they're like the friends I never met <laughs> okay so if you want you should try to follow some of these women okay okay so I'm just gonna shout out some of the women that I follow on Instagram who are tall and inspirational okay so one of them is tall glass of CC she is a personal trainer so it's really like nice to see someone that looks like me doing these different exercises and stuff in the gym because sometimes I see these little workout videos and I'm like I can't do that next person is miss tall and natural and she is six feet tall and she's a fashion blogger so this is where I get some of my clothes inspiration from she will share with you where she got her outfits from and leave links and all this stuff so that you can purchase the different outfits and stuff that she wears she be killing it too y'all i'm telling y'all she be killing it this next one i'm really excited to share with you guys it is called the tall society and i'm so excited to like go back to the states and actually be able to attend one of their events because it is just a place where tall women can get together and just mingle and make new friends and just talk about your problems talk about how you you overcame them talk about where you go shopping like just really connect with other tall women in a way that other people can't necessarily connect with you or understand what you're going through next one is pretty tall style pretty tall style is another fashion blogger and again she just posts different outfits and like how things look on a taller frame and also where you can get outfits for tall women there's one more woman I want to share with y'all but i can't remember her name oh i found her hers is called it's raining legs and she's a mother of two a little boy and a little girl so i think she's really good to follow for those of you who are who have kids and stuff and her husband is taller than her and she is six six so you already know her kids about to be way up there okay <laughs> i'm really hoping at least one of these women is someone you can feel connected to or feel like you can relate to a little bit so that you know like again you're not the only tall woman out there there are many 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 other tall women um and many other tall women who are experiencing or who have experienced how you are feeling as well this video was not supposed to be this long so <laughs> let's go ahead and end this video now so I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys with one more quote and this quote happens to be from Miss Maya Angelou again if you are always trying to be normal you will never know how amazing you can be so the reason I want to leave you with this quote is because if you just try to hide your height all the time and try not to do this or do that because you don't want to stand out you're going to be missing out on life so for me at least I think about that a lot like I don't want to be afraid to do something because people are gonna stare at me I had to learn I had to train myself to ignore those type of thoughts and instead enjoy my life to the fullest you know what I mean I am sorry to those who were waiting for this video hoping for 
a one-stop shop to all your problems this ain't it I don't have it I don't have the answers um, this is just what worked for me and it's not easy it's not something that happens quickly you have to work on yourself I just really hope this video helped at least one person out there so anyways please leave any comments questions comments anything that you have down below and definitely share this video with any friends that you might have that are really tall that you might even know are struggling with their confidence alrighty you guys take care and I will see you in my next video bye